Good evening, YouTubers. Dwayne and Desiree right at you. Yeah, I'm uh, out here off. Uh, yeah, somebody's shooting over there. Just ignore it. Yeah, which is funny is that this is state trust land, and they got a bunch of signs on there saying no, no, no target shooting. Or they're target shooting. <laughs> oh, they're hope they're hope a sheriff doesn't drive down the road. Yeah, he'll he'll give them the right act. Oh well, that's their problem. <laughs> but I'm over here far enough away. They're shooting way over there, so. I'm gonna go up here on this random hilltop. I've always wanted to check the. I just like checking these random hilltops out here. It's, it's this is a pump station road here, just up from uh, Silver Bell. So it's just random hills. I'll walk up there, check it out. I'm gonna go up to this ridge line, see what's over there, then maybe make my way to the top up there. Yeah, it's five quarter to five. I better grab something just in case. From my truck just in case put it in my pocket just in case better grab this just in case it's my light pack spare batteries put it in my I put it in my back pocket maybe I got pockets filled up everywhere All right, I'm gonna head this way. Yeah, came across these things before. Up there on that one hill, I found I found one up there. They're like registry mark markers or something. I'm not sure. It's like because it says one of six. I mean post. There's a lot of them. It says do not remove, but shit, it's been they've been here for so long. I've been here for so long. Yep, community out there. Got a nice view up here. See all the people sleeping out there. There was a road I went up when I was right over there, way over there. This is the reason why they're shooting. The bullets are going clear over there and there's people camping over there. Oh, cool. 
coming in above. <laughs> All of a sudden they change directions. That's weird. Oh, wonder what that is way out there. It's a it's a beehive, uh, um, bee farm, and then that way out there, pipe sticking looks like a pipe sticking up is a is a water claim, big water tower, tank. Now, might go up there a little ways, give me a little more view. Now, some got my curiosity over there. Another hilltop over there. It looks like the, you see it. Looks like a road going up there, a trail, anyways. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run her down to that part and walk across over there and check it out. I want to see what I see what it is. You can see where the marsupial has been sitting on top of the rock, crapping on it. <laughs> it's his little perch to watch. Yeah, they they live all over up in these hills. A little, I forget what they call it, like a little rodent or something. A pretty good sized rodent. I mean, they're like the size of a guinea pig. All right, I'll make my way back down. Walk across that way. I want to see what that is. And then I'll be heading back towards my truck. Sun is already set, so at the most, got maybe another hour of radiant light, and then it's going to be dark. That's why I grabbed my light pack. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think it's that road that I came in on the other side there. I think it goes all the way and straight up to the top. I'm gonna go check it out. Cool. A nice little spot up here. Good view of the road coming up. Let's see if I can. I can see the lights and the headlights and the vehicles. Yeah, that's the uh, home station road. I've driven it a bunch of times. Don't even need four wheel drive. It's a well maintained road. But I can see Silver Bell where I came up. I have to remember this spot because uh, New Year's Eve. When I did that hike, that first hike up into the Silver Bell Mountains, it was a part two. My goal was eventually was supposed to come over here. I don't know if you can see them, so I can pick them up. I don't know if you can make them out. Those are those hilltops right over there. But this one over here was the one I was trying to set up for, and I wanted to, I wanted to camp out on top of it because. My view would have been over the entire area of Morana, and I would have been able to see the fireworks display going off here and there at all the spots. But I was driving around, and I started feeling crappy. Couldn't find any place close enough. But this spot looks like a good spot. I'm going to have to remember this for next year, for New Year's Eve. Fourth of July would be just it'd be too damn hot out here. It'd be in the freaking upper 90s, maybe 100 degrees out here. Way too hot. But New Year's Eve party would be good. New Year's Eve. Come up here. I got a spot right there. Bag it. I can put my tent right there. I probably wouldn't even use a tent. I'd probably just set a tarp structure up and clear a flat a place out down there on the ground. Clean the spot out. It's flat and just run my pad in a and a foam pad and just use my bivy 
sleep in my bivy. And then I could uh, set my chair right here and enjoy the view. Quads running down the road. But, yeah, I'll show you the view I would have gotten. See that? Pan a little slower, Jason. <laughs> yeah, that's my that's my real name, Jason. Everybody wants to know. But yeah, whole valley out here. Any fireworks going off, I would have seen them. Would have been awesome. And this would be my view for the night. Would be different than uh, my stealth camp. The uh, That one right there. I camped on top of that hilltop right there once. Yeah, you know, if you look it up in my videos, it'd be uh, earlier last year when I did it. I camped on top of there. But I have to remember this because it's it's an easy prop you up right there, hold you better. Tilt the camera just a little bit. Alright. Yeah, it'd be a little bit easier because I could drive up this road and come to the road. I pull in out of the gate and just drive it. I'm going to follow this trail, this road, this little dirt road here, quad trail, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to follow it back down and see how where it comes out. Maybe I can drive my truck all the way around here where my truck will be in sight over there. So that way it's in view and not far away. I just hate the idea of leaving my truck out here in certain areas because there's too many rednecks out here. Continuing up the road. But yeah. Nothing more, just the sun's pretty much set. It's just a residue light. It's gonna be almost dark by the time I get back to my truck. That's why I brought my light pack with me. But I'm essentially just pretty much done with this one. There's a shorty. Hey, if you think I'd, um, I would just do a pre into stealth camp up here. Just do a camp up here one time just to see what it's like. But if you want to see me up here on uh, New Year's Eve, let me know in the comments and I'll do it next year. Fourth July, I got a place I'm going to for Fourth July down in Sierra Vista. I'm going to drive as far up the um, Car Peak Road as I can and then uh, hike the rest of the way where I can in 4th July and try and do a New Year's and then go out there on the hilltop and there's a spot up there like and I've I've seen it before it's not that bad of a hike <laughs> I'll probably do is take one of the campsites do their do two nights up there and just because it'll be Friday night and then the Saturday night I'll have all my gear packed up and I'll take the campsite. I'll leave my tent out and that's all I'll be there so they think somebody's camping there and then I'll hike up the top of the hilltop towards the evening before it gets dark and I'll camp out on top of the hill for Fourth July night. That'll be awesome. That can give me a good fireworks stand. Fireworks on our over Sierra Vista area. So yeah, I'm just gonna call this a one and done and uh, start heading back to my truck. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate everybody that does like and subscribe. Yeah, I believe that's a marmot hole. One of those little rodents I was talking about earlier. About the size of a hamster, about this big. Hey, you might come up here and sniff me while I'm camping up here. Never know. With me the first time. <laughs>